I love the job you did. They're out here doing the work in the pouring rain and it's not leaking, so. Yep, uh, Ricky Southern Southern Construction. We just finished with Diane's roof. We fixed the skylight. I'll post a video on what we did there and, uh, and we'll be coming out to the rest of you. We've got about 45 appointments to get to this week. Uh, we'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, it's Ricky Southern Southern Construction. We're out doing the free repairs this week. Monday happens to be a rainy day, which is pouring in all over the place, but we're out here doing them. Uh, we're at a skylight right now, and if you take a look down here, you can see that the water's pooling right here. And what happened is, is they, they caulked everything, and now it's kind of ramping back. They did try to caulk a few different areas, uh, but water's still able to get there. Once you have this flash pan, the water needs a space to be able to room, uh, breathe, so that way it can flow out and come over this flashing pan. Um, when you do it like this, it just creates a buildup to where now the water can't even shed. I mean, you can see it's a pool. So this skylight, same thing. The, the back pan, the shingle's running right up next to it. It's filled with caulking. You can see all this caulking to the point where there's, there's a pool. All right, there's a pool of water. Every time it rains, it takes a little bit for the water to build up, but then it's going to be working its way back up the shingle because this is a low pitch, or it's going to be catching the caulking and running further left and right than it should. All you need is a little channel here. permanent fix this was a brand new roof and it's been leaking on and off ever since the new roof and now with these skylights um, given the, the breathability for the water to flow left and right you're not gonna have any issues anymore uh, we'll, on to the next one after we repair this one <laughs> good there is water flowing out just by breaking that caulking seal you can see all this water that's flowing out all that water is trapped behind there because of this puddle here and when it has nowhere to go, it's going to, it will. Water's going to take the path of least resistance. When it's blockaded like that, especially when it's tight, it's probably a half inch thick there. When it's got a blockade, it's going to go left and right and travel in other ways. Uh, and uh, and it's an issue. So we're going to do this one where we cut it out and, and get the water a nice, easy path to flow and then no more leaks. <laughs> 